Okay, so John, you say to write something that will change your life, which- I love that quote. Yeah, I, I mean, forward, yes, and it's like reading that just makes you think like, yes, that's why we're here. Like w at the end of the day, like our readers are great and all that's great, but we, I think we all kind of write because we're a little bit selfish, right? <laughs> like we're writing a story that, that we love that's going to change our life in some way. But what do you mean when you say that? Well, I think I think it's probably the most important piece of advice in the book, yeah. because I think when a lot of people think about being a writer, they think, well, I'm, you know, fame and fortune. And, and obviously, we all want to make good money from writing our stories. But the problem is that if that is your first and main motivation, you, I believe you tend to come up with story ideas that are a copy of some story you saw in the movies or in a book mm -hmm. or something six months before. Yeah. And so you try to put a little slight, you know, switch on it. Mm -hmm. Well, that might work, but in terms of the process of writing the book, what is that going to do for you? Yeah. To me, the process, especially when you move up to the upper levels of being a professional writer, you've got to fall in love with the process itself. Yeah. I mean, you, you know you're going to write a book, you know you're going to be able to sell it and so on, but you also want a book that is so important to you that you can feel so passionate about mm -hmm. that you can get that passion into the book. And that passion then will also be read by the reader. Mm -hmm. And so you get this kind of this, this double effect, this double payoff, which is you not only get that great book that the audience loves, the reader loves, but you also get a book that changes your life. And there is no, to me, there is no better benefit from the craft of writing. It is the greatest tool for creating a good life that there is. Yeah.